Hello everyone. Now we will go for our next debugging exercise or challenge. And the major motto of this playlist is to increase our debugging skills. Now in this debugging exercise, we will go for module pool programming. Suppose this is our program. I'm running this program. I will execute in a new window so that this session will remain as it is. We got this screen. Suppose you are working in a project and functional is saying, yes, functional pass the input and click on to the submit button and the details are not displayed. Okay, so you got this particular thing and you need to resolve the issue. Firstly, whenever you will get the test data, test data. So functional is saying they provided the input 44. So firstly check, is that data is in the system or not? Because maximum time what we are doing, we are checking based upon a input, that input is not in the table itself. So firstly, what you can do, you can go for the table and check the input first. Is the input is in the table or not? If I will go to SC11 transaction code, suppose functional is saying, yes, the sales document number is stored in VBAK table. So go to VBAK table. We know every sales order is in VBAK table. Go to the contents of the table and give the input. This VBELN is sales document number. If you see, this VBELN is sales document number. We will give 44. This is our input and I am executing. Input is in that table. It means data is fine. Now we need to check why, why the output is not coming. Now this is module pool program. We will go in such a way. If you have the knowledge of module pool, you can resolve this issue. If you do not have, at least you can identify the reason why, why the output is not coming. Whenever you run this program, whenever you run this program, you are getting this kind of layout. So firstly, your major task is to check that this layout is the part of which screen. Because in the projects, we have multiple screens, sometimes 10 screens, 15 screens in one program itself. So your major thing is this layout is designed on which particular screen. As of now, I have only single screen. So I will just go for the screen. Click on to layout. You are able to see same to same kind of layout. Yes. Now you are clicking on to submit button and the output is not coming. So this is our screen 100. Now we all know very, very well, whenever you are performing some action on the screen, see we are clicking on the submit button. So at that time, which particular event will trigger process after input of that particular screen. If you do not have the knowledge of module pool programming, no problem. Just go for that particular screen flow logic tab and put the breakpoints there. And we, we all know whenever we are clicking on to submit button, we know that process after input of that screen is calling. So we will go for process after input. Put the breakpoint. This is the way to put a breakpoint. But yes, whenever you are putting the breakpoint, your program should be active. Active. 
Now I will run. I will run in a new window. Now we will give the input and we will click on to submit button. Desktop 3, most preferable desktop. I'm on 10th number line. On 10th number line, there is a if condition if psi u com is equal to submit. Just double click on psi u com. The if condition is saying psi u com is submit, but the psi u com is equal to display. We put the if condition psi u com submit, but the system variable for the user command, it is a system variable, system variable. Whenever something starts with SY, it is a system variable. The system variable for user command is display. So you can see this if condition is failed itself and your logic to fetch data from VBAK table is in between this if condition. If this if, if condition is failed, your select query will never, never execute. If I will do F6, F6 is line by line execution. Have you seen control directly came on to this line? So this particular condition is false. And this particular query this did not execute at all. So that's why we are not getting the output. Now, this is the major, major issue, especially for the beginners. But they will do. They will see, okay, the button name is submit. They will simply put psi u com is equal to submit. Every button has a function code. We all know very, very well. Every, every button has a function code. But just check what the function code you provided in the layout. Maximum time we do this mistake. We think button name is submit. So we will simply, simply put psi u com is equal to submit. And this is never the case. Button name is submit. Function code might be different we provided. If I will execute, if I will go to the layout, I will go to 100 screen. I will go to layout. If I will just double click on submit button, you can see we are getting all the properties. We are getting the properties. And if you see what the function gate code we gave, display, display. See, function code we get gave display and we are writing psi u com is equal to submit. Especially for the beginners, they think fun button name is submit. So they can go for psi u com is equal to submit. No, system always, always understand this function code, function code. So we need to give psi u com is equal to submit. So I will simply, simply go for this. I will close this screen painter. Now I will go for this logic. Now I will simply, simply write psi u com is equal to display. I will check the syntax and I will activate. And then we will come on to the second mistake, which we do while going for the logic. I will activate. Now I will put the breakpoint and I will run this program again. We gave the input and we clicked on to submit button. We will go to desktop 3. What is psi u com? Psi u com display and you gave display also. I am doing F6. Have you seen? Still, if condition is failed, 
and system has not executed this query system directly came on to 17th number line this is the second mistake which we are always always doing yes if you see sap editor is not case sensitive i can write the code in capital i can write the code in small no problem but string values are always always case sensitive suppose i am saying my name is rahul if i am putting r a h u l in capital or if i am putting r a h u l in small both have different meanings same thing is here sap is giving the function code sap is checking the function code value in capital and we put in small string values are always always case sensitive so we need to put this display in capital so i will simply simply go for the requirement and i will put this display in capital letters these are the common mistakes which we do while writing the code now i will put a breakpoint and show you the output i am running the program i will give the input whenever i will go for submit button desktop 3 most preferable desktop i will double click on siucom siucom display display is equal to display yes if condition is true i am doing f6 so this line executed and i am on this particular query this query is one line because the dot because line starts here it ends here we gave the input 44 it is on the right hand side it means vbeln is equal to 44 this is what we did at the initial level vbeln is equal to 44 it will go to which table vbak it will fetch the data of this four column and data will come into this four variables as of now this query has not executed i am doing f6 you can see this is our er dat er zdt er num and vb type we got these four values whenever i want to come out yes i will do f8 you can see we got the output so in this video we studied about two common mistakes which we do while writing the code we think button name is submit so we will simply write function siucom is equal to submit no check the function code of the button because system will check for function code system has nothing with your name of the button name of the button to is only only for the display purpose we can give any name to the button a second thing values are always always case sensitive so whenever you are comparing just check are you going for capital are you going for small in this case sap is checking for capital submit if we will go for small submit or small display it will not consider at all if condition will fail so we need to check the strings values at that point of time so that's it in this particular video thank you